Hello and welcome to the episode 274 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, we'll talk about the signing of a contract, about some minor work for the Magical Mystery Tour film, and about the screening of a new cut of Lady B. This last event happened sometime in October. On the 1st of October 1960, the Beatles, with Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, played another six hours at the Indra Club in Hamburg, West Germany, for the 46th night straight. In 1962, George Harrison, John Lennon, Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr signed a contract that tied the new lineup of the Beatles to Brian Epstein for five years. Paul and George needed the signatures of their fathers, as they were under 21 at the time. The contract replaced an earlier contract that bore the signature and the name of Pete Best. This contract, giving to Epstein the power to, and I quote, undertake all necessary advertising and publicity for the artists, and to advise the artists on all matters concerning clothes, makeup, and the presentation and construction of the artist's acts, was the only one actually signed by Brian. Fast forward to 1967. With the editing of Magical Mystery Tour in full swing, several gaps in the footage had become apparent. The production had forgotten to shoot several pickup shots, and so, the Beatles were forced to return at the West Malin Air Station in Kent, today, with the yellow coach to film them. Several more dates would be necessary to really complete the work on the filming. On the 1st of October 1968, the Beatles returned to the Trident Studios to record Honey Pie, working there from 4 pm to 3.30 am. They recorded various takes of the rhythm track, featuring Paul on piano, George on bass, Ringo on drums, and John on electric guitar, but it was take one that was chosen as the best to work on. George Martin took a rough monomix of today's work home, so that he could create an arrangement with saxophone and clarinet for the final track. Finally, at some point during October 1970, Paul McCartney, George Harrison and Ringo Starr attended to the screening of a new cut of the Get Back film, now clocking 88 minutes. John Lennon and Yoko Ono either couldn't attend or couldn't be asked to. The film received a green light from the three Beatles and ended up being released in May 1970 with its name changed into Larry B. Well, this is almost it for today. Come back tomorrow for more stories from the four you love, but before you do, make sure you visit www.simonmas.com support to find out how you can be instrumental for the growth of this community and to get all the info you need to acquire the deluxe version of this podcast. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.